So how's the, the police treating you now? It, well, police treat me now, I'm afraid, is I'm still um, target number one because it's not. I know I'm not active, but I make crime look like a, like a careers option. Mm -hmm. You know, the house, the clothes, the cockiness, the amount people want me on telly and want to listen to what I say. But I'm, t I'm, I'm saying don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually saying no, but I, I still get my ass bugged. We're still followed. They still, if I have a, an audience with somewhere, they go to the place and went, listen, if you have Dave Courtney and his mates turning up to your premises, you won't have a license for a telly. So cancel it. You know, they go to the film directors and go, I don't want them in the film. Still? They go, yes, it's still up till last week. They go to the recording studio and say, if you have Courtney on this album, it's going to be looked at as a criminally organised, is it criminal money that's done it? You know, it's, yeah, it's mental, crazy. it's mental. So you say as well for the, was it the M20 or M25 where you said that somebody tried to murder you? On the A2. A2. Well, I was taking the police to court. I got nicked with the police, didn't I? I got, well, I've paid police in all my life. Everyone knows that. Everyone I know knows that. And if Ronnie and Reggie, Charlie Cray and all them, Ronnie Big think I'm, I'm not a grass, I'm not worried if some cunts is that. But a professional criminal does pay policemen. I'm sorry. Right, if you're clever. And when he got caught, he went, no, he's not paying me. I'm paying Dave. Had that been believed, it would have got me shot. Mm -hmm. right? He had no proof of it, but he needed an excuse. He's been caught. He couldn't go, yes, I've been bought and paid for by Dave Courtney and his boys for the last 15 years because there'd have to be a load of retrials, compensation, you know. So the best they can get out of this now is they've got a copper now nicked, right? I'm gonna. It's gonna come out that Dave Courtney's put a copper in prison. Blah 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 blah. I taped the copper. I bugged him, mm -hmm. and when he actually said no, I'm paying Dave. I've got the tape, so he couldn't, couldn't. I couldn't lose the case. But then he went not guilty, and I was wondering why is he going not guilty? And what they did is they went right. Um, damage limitation. Courtney's going to put you in prison anyway. So it either comes out looking like an hero for doing it, or we could pretend that we believe you. Say Courtney might be a grass for eight months and that'll get some um, um, Chinese whispers going, right? And on the day the court case starts, you can change your plea to guilty and if he ain't shot by then, it will have stopped all that, oh, ain't Dave a funny bloke, he's running for mayor and everything. I had a mayor thing. And they did that. They genuinely said they believed him right up to the day I went to court which I want to court dress as a court jester, all of my friends, like, what are you doing? I shouldn't be here. What you, I, bu I bugged him. You've heard it. You've got the tape, and you're still taking me a court and putting that in the paper. And it was you. And then after the court case finished, I then went to the High Court of Justice and brought out a, a summons. I paid 380 quid for it with me and Bill Murray, and it was on Sky TV, and nicked the police for attempted murder because I said... I will accept any excuse in the world of why you put it in the paper that I was a grass. After you had the tape of me bugging him, after you had I do proof of it, I'm saying that you put that in the paper saying that about me to try and get me killed, but I will accept any other excuse otherwise. And I've took it out, it's a I've took it out, I've summoned them. Right? Any excuse of why you put that in the paper, I'm saying you try to get me killed. Right? Before I got out, all the other fucking jobs he'd done, right? I'm saying that. But I'll accept any excuse. And they didn't know what to fucking do about it. And they run me over on the motorway at 12 at night. Someone done a pit maneuver on me on the A2, right? Do you know anyone that would kill someone? Else? Of all the ways to kill you, mate, I'd think of a million before I went, I'll let you while you're doing under mile an hour on the A2, which is all cameraed off. Yeah. And do a pit maneuver. That's their one. They make programs about it. They do that. And then they done it to me. I didn't die. I come out of the coma in five weeks. So I went, right, get the cameras. I'll show you who done it. And they went, it's the only day in its history that the A2 weren't cameraed that night. And behind me, just so, was, you can go and check all this out, goggle it, was a unmarked police car that saw all of the accident that I had, took the 13 witness statements that I took, and then because I was in a coma for five weeks, they've lost them. When I woke up, there was, the police had lost the 15 witness statements. The police won't had no video footage of the thing. Does that not scare you, Dave, then? That and the insurance people, when they checked out all the car for, um, you know, because it was really written off, I rolled it mm -hmm. on the motorway, found five monitoring devices in it. Five. Bob I five found times. one in my bedroom, 
The army found one in my bedroom. I found four in my house, one in my bedroom, right? Forget all the fucking gangster shit they're going to hear in the kitchen. They heard me having a wank. I'm like, that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> 